A military aircraft Tu-22M3 crashed in the Stavropol Krai of the Russian Federation just hours after launching missiles towards Ukraine, according to the governor of Stavropol Krai, Vladimir Vladimirov. An urgent message. A jet has crashed in a field in Krasnogvardiyskoy district. According to early reports, there is no damage or casualties, and the pilots ejected he said later, Vladimirov announced that two pilots from the aircraft had been found. They are alive, we are transporting them to the hospital. All emergency services are at the scene, he wrote. He did not provide any other details, but posted a photo of the crashed jet. Monitoring telegram channels reported that a 222 M3, which Russia uses for strikes in Ukraine, crashed, stating that it was downed. The Russian Ministry of Defense confirmed the crash of the 222 M3 in the Stavropol Krai. The aircraft crashed after completing a combat mission while returning to the base. Preliminary investigation suggests technical malfunction as the cause of the crash. Three crew members have been evacuated, and the search for one pilot is ongoing. There were no munitions on board the aircraft, and there is no damage on the ground, the statement said. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian ground forces reported that footage shows the crash of a Tu-22 M3 aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces, which had launched missiles towards Ukraine overnight. Russian media released video footage of the burning wreckage. Russian air defense increasingly shoots down its aircraft in Crimea. Russian occupiers increasingly began to shoot down their own aircraft over the temporarily occupied Crimea. The reason for the increased frequency of friendly fire from Russian air defense was the growing tension due to constant attacks by Ukraine on Russian military targets on the peninsula. Fearing explosions, the Russian command ordered air defense crew commanders to respond to any threats, despite the fact that the Russian friend-foe recognition system has problems. This was stated in the military movement of Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars, Atesh, writes Obozrevatel media outlet. Agents of the Atesh movement report that tension is growing among the occupiers in the Crimea due to constant missile attacks and UAV raids that threaten military installations. The top military leadership ordered air defense crew commanders to shoot down threats despite problems with the friend or foe target detection and recognition system. However, faced with constant missile attacks and UAV raids, commanders of air defense crews are forced to carry out target designation virtually in manual mode. Thanks to this, strikes often occur against their own air targets, the report noted. Thus, the 12th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment of the 31st Air Defense Division of the Russian Federation especially distinguished itself in this direction. Over the past few weeks, it shot down two military aircraft of the Russian occupiers. Recent Ukrainian strikes have increased pressure on Russian air defense systems and may be leading to Russian forces shooting down their own planes, the UK Ministry of Defense said earlier. It is noted an incident on March the 28th where a Crimean telegram channel reported that a Russian Sukhoi Su-27 jet had crashed over occupied Crimea after being shot down by its own forces. 
The UK Ministry of Defence added that the downing of the Su-27 and other similar events, if confirmed, likely highlights the lack of situational awareness and coordination among some Russian forces, while also highlighting the second-order impact of Ukrainian strikes.